Welcome back to Hear Me Out. I'm D. I'm E. And clearly we're a hot mess, guys. I mean, <laughs> there's really no explanation needed here other than we're a hot mess. But anyway, so today's video is going to be about Tasha Betts, the love story of David and Victoria Beckham. Why? Because we watched the Beckham documentary and fell completely head over heels with the amazing love story of Tasha Betts. So, of course, we wanted to touch on it a little bit. Um, David and Victoria Beckham are one of Hollywood's longest standing couples for good reasons. They've been through the ringer together. Like, they've been through it, y'all. For real. Ooh. From raising four children to infidelity allegations and divorce speculations to selfish moves across different parts of the globe, they've remained united through it all. Yeah, I felt some type of way about that, Mr. David Beckham, sir. How you gonna do that to Bosch? Just Bosch, Bosch that's me. his career. He has to move. I mean... He moved her... To LA Galaxy in two seconds. Later, I'm going to go play for into Milan in Italy. I know that was a little messed up, but. Anywho, let's dive into <laughs> Posh and Beck's relationship timeline. So, in 1997, the Lovebirds first crossed paths uh, while attending a charity football match at Manchester United Players Lounge. The former Spice Girl described their meet cute in a letter she wrote to herself for British Vogue in September 2016. Quote, Love at first sight does exist, she wrote. Aww. It will happen to you in the Manchester United Players Lounge, although you will get a little drunk, so exact details are hazy. While the other football players stand at the bar drinking with their mates, you will see David standing aside with his family. He's not even in the first team at this stage. You are the famous one, and he has such a cute smile. You, too, are close to your family, and you will think how similar he feels to you. He's going to ask for your number. He still has the London to Manchester plane tickets on which you wrote it. Um, then in 1998, they announced their engagement, um, where uh, it took place at a press conference, the announcement. The twosome had more exciting news to share in 1998. They were expecting their first child. However, Victoria's bandmate Mel B revealed that Posh had a really tough time with her pregnancy during the group's Spice World tour that year. She was running off the stage to go vomit. Dang. Scary Spice said during an appearance on the Meredith Vieira show in September of 2014. Taking it back to 1999, it's a boy, y'all. David and Victoria welcomed their first son, Brooklyn, on March 4th, 1999. Posh and Bex tied the knot just three months later on the 4th of July at Lutrustown Castle near Dublin. Then in 2002... You forgot David, to mention the purple outfits that they wore. So, okay, like, listen. Because I still, I still feel that's a little bit much for me. Um, granted, they wore the white, you know, at the ceremony. But at their wedding, they switched to matching purple, very purple ensembles not only did they have matching purple ensembles but so did their son brooklyn it was the cutest it was was like a little family of like fruit of the loom you know the grapes (laughs) that's how the purple (laughs) did oh my gosh okay (laughs) anyway so naturally they you know got married out of castle naturally i mean they were royalty as far as pop culture back mm-hmm. in those days who was royalty oh the two and two <sighs> anywho in 2002 david and victoria announced that they were expanding their family in february of 2002 this year has been such an exciting year for us england are in the world cup finals Victoria's had a second top 10 hit, and now we are expecting a new baby, they said in a joint statement at the time. Six months later, a second son was born to the couple via C-section, Romeo James Beckham. I love that. I didn't know that was his middle name. I love that whole name. Romeo James. So beautiful. Why do we know that she got a C-section? Why? Why is the internet internetting? I need to know that. That's that's crazy. All right. So in 2003, the family began a new adventure when David was transferred from his Manchester United team to Real Madrid, with the group moving to Spain to be centrally located. 
So this is the little asterisk in the relationship. Uh, infidelity speculation swirled after David was photographed leaving a Madrid nightclub with a mysterious woman. Though she was later revealed to be his assistant, uh, Rebecca Luz, uh, Rebecca's brother John Charles Luz, later claimed that the cheating rumors were true. <sighs> clout chaser. <laughs> but was there clout chasing back then? I mean, apparently. Because <laughs> why you want your limelight? All right, David, meanwhile, dismissed the allegations as false. During the past few months, I have become accustomed to reading more and more ludicrous stories about my private life, the athlete said in a statement. The simple truth is that I am very happily married. Yes, he was. <laughs> I have a wonderful wife and two very special kids. There is nothing any third party can do to change these facts. Hmm. So in 2004, having survived the infidelity scandal, uh, the pair continued to grow their family. The Spice World star announced in late August that she was pregnant for the third time. In 2005, the couple's little one made his grand entrance into the world on February 21st, 2005. We've got a baby boy. <laughs> his name is Cruz. David shared with reporters outside a Madrid hotel. I mean, not hotel, hospital. Started with the age, guys. <laughs> 2007, uh, big, chasen, uh, big changes were on the horizon for the Beckhams once more. David joined LA Galaxy, uh, resulting in a relocation to sunny California. In 2009, for the duo's 10th wedding anniversary, the soccer stud got sentimental. And he said, I have 10 roses tattooed around my arms Aww. for the last 10 years. He revealed in an interview with Ellen in 2011, um, by early 2011, a fourth baby was on the way for Posh Spice and her husband. They just, they should have just kept having babies. Why did they stop that for? Uh, so David and Victoria Beckham are delighted to confirm they're expecting their fourth child this summer. A spokeswoman for the musician said in a statement, a pregnant Victoria ventured across the pond with David in April 2011 for Prince William and Duchess, Duchess Kate's royal wedding. They were dressed impeccably for the occasion. So they wore a whole bunch of stuff. I'm not going to talk about that. <laughs> and then there were six. The pair welcomed their first baby girl. Harper 7 Beckham shortly after their 12th wedding anniversary. Aww. Oh, my turn still. In 2013, the, the London native announced his retirement from soccer after 21 years in May 2013. Shortly after, the pop star and the sportsman embraced their roots, headed back across the pond to London, where Victoria's fashion company was based. David showcased his love for his wife through ink once more, in September 2013, when he showed up to the Global Fund at Apsley House in London with her name tattooed in cursive across his right hand. Aww. That's beautiful. Love her. If you don't love me like David Beckham, I don't want you. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. Um, so in 2017, David shared that he and Victoria had renewed their vows while speaking to BBC Radio 4's Desert Island Disc in January of 2017. It was a lot more private with only six people there in our house. During March 2017 appearance on the Today Show, Victoria praised her longtime love, calling him her soulmate. I'm very lucky that David is the most fantastic father and husband, and he's great, and we're equal at home, and we're very, very, we're a very, very good team, she said. We compliment each other. He's the most incredible husband, fantastic father. He inspires me every day. Just seeing him with the children and how he treats me, it just works. We are lucky to have each other. Um, in 2018, the stylish twosome attended their second royal wedding, May 2018, when Prince Harry wed Duchess Meghan in a romantic ceremony at St. George's Chapel at Windsor Castle. Hater. Whatever. <laughs> also in 2018, divorce rumors began to plague the lovebirds, but they quickly shot down the chatter. There is no impending statement, has been no statement, and there is no divorce, Victoria's rep told us. What nonsense. Fake news fueled by social media, embarrassing for the sloppy outlets who have chosen to write such rubbish. Rubbish. <laughs> 
<laughs> Rub it. In 2019, 20 years, um, uh, to, well, quote, 20 years today, I love you so much. All the exes, kisses, and ex. Victoria wrote on Instagram where she posted a video collage of photos on July 4th marking their 20th anniversary. David also shared throwback photos, adding, wow, 20 years. Look what we created. Love you so much. In 2021, the designer gushed about her husband's latest business venture as one of the owners of the Inter Miami CF Soccer Club in April 2021. So proud of at David Beckham at Inter Miami CF. She captioned a group Instagram shot from the arena. First game of the season and so excited to be here. Kisses to the Pelts family. We love you all. The Pelts family, interestingly enough, would be joining their family when Nicola Pelts married their son, their first son, Brooklyn Beckham. So, yeah. Interesting, huh? Yeah. Yeah. It's a whole family affair, apparently. Um, In 2023... Uh, quote, 26 years and still my Valentine. I love you so much at David Beckham kisses. Victoria captured a series of throwback photos with her husband. Um, David, for his part, shared another old snap of the twosome during their early days, writing happy Valentine's to my Valentine. We love you at Victoria Beckham. So 24 years, guys. That's like a yeah. 24 or 26? 26. It's not 26. Well, married? 24. Oh. Like, right? Because they got married. It's 26 20. years and still my Valentine. Well, I guess because they got together, like in. Well, almost 30 years. Let's just round up at this point. <laughs> that is crazy. Mm-hmm. And beautiful. I mean, you know, you don't see that often anymore. And how they've managed to survive, you know, if you guys watch the Beckham documentary or watch our video recapping the David Beckham documentary called Beckham, we know they've been through it, literally, yeah. through the ringer, the bullying, the yeah. the fans just turning on him. I, right. I mean, I'm surprised he doesn't have, like, mental health issues at this point, or at least visible ones. You right. Know, something. So, you know, they've been through it all. The moves, yeah. the careers, the, you know, she does have her own fashion brand. So I see uh, him supporting that a lot. They were yeah. at, and in, in, um, what was it, Paris Fashion Week? Yeah. Her line, so. You know, it's crazy now that you mention that. I always thought it was the cutest thing how much he, like, really supports her and everything. But yeah, bro, you better. After I was about to say, like, but that's the least you could do. It's the, it's the least. <laughs> made this woman drag her luggage although i know she did it but you know what i mean yeah. all over the globe like the least you can do is yeah. sit front row at her fashion shows and praise her mm-hmm. from here to sunday because jesus oh that's a lot that's a, she really she's a keeper she is and like she, she mentioned in that letter she wrote herself she was the famous one she was the one you know, who was, like, a global icon at that point. I mean, everybody was obsessed with the Spice Girls who didn't want to be Posh Spice, you know? So it's interesting because she essentially put her life on pause, you know, once the uh, Spice Girls broke up. Um, And she fully... I like to say it took a backseat to his career at that point because I think she was still doing music. Yeah, but, like, do you remember any Victoria Beckham solo songs? No, but I just don't want to say that she just paused her life. I mean, she was still an artist and a mother and stuff. Yes. You know, you're right. You're right. Let's say she, it, it was, uh, it took a backseat, right, to her family life and everything. And that was the case for a long time, for quite a mm-hmm. few years. Um, and honestly, it's been amazing to see her grow her Victoria Beckham line and how she just has been, you know, killing it in fashion. Um, I love that for her. Yeah. I really do because he's such an accomplished, you know, athlete. And now he has like this business with Inter Miami. So now seeing her fashion brand blossom, like basically after post his like soccer career, yeah, I kind of love it. It's like kind of like they took turns, even though it, it was like twenty years. <laughs> That's a long time. That's a but long time. it it worked out for them, and you know yeah. she's successful now. So, 
And her pieces are amazing. Oh, yeah. So. I think it's, you know, they figured out a formula for themselves that worked for their family, for their relationship. Um, And I really do love that because, I mean, you know, especially this year alone, there's been so many different celeb divorces left and right. So I'm glad that, you know. That Barbie movie. They just broke up everybody. I'm not believing literally every Barbie. other. It was literally like every other day that there's a celebrity breakup. We were going to start talking about all these different divorces and stuff, but I'm, we just couldn't keep up. I'm like, we're going to just do a recap at the end of the year because yep. it's too much. And it makes me a little sad, you know? It Yeah, it is pretty sad. So I think that like this documentary came at like the right time. To kind of like, you know, give you some inspiration and some hope um, for these Hollywood relationships. So the longevity of of their marriage, of their relationship, and the way in which their family has seemed, you know, to be a very grounded family, very close-knit family, um, has been like pretty awesome. Their kids, I think you mentioned um, in our recap of the the Beckham documentary, their kids are also very well-grounded. You don't really hear like scandals about you know, any of them or whatever. Although Mm -hmm. there were rumors, maybe there's truth to it, maybe not, that there was a little bit of turmoil during um, Brooklyn and Nicola's wedding um, because she was originally meant to wear a Victoria Beckham wedding dress. Um, But unfortunately, I think there was an issue with Toys Atelier where they couldn't get it done on time or I'm not 100% sure what happened. So she went with I don't recall if it was a Valentino gown. It was another designer. So there was speculation that, you know, Victoria felt a kind of way about it. And then there was also, like, issues with um, other aspects of, like, the relationship where people kind of thought that maybe there was some iciness between Victoria and Nicola, which is really insane that they would be pitting these two women against one another. But that's what, you know, that's what the blogs were saying. That's what they were trying to do. But since all of that, there's been plenty of um, instances in which Nicola has joined Brooklyn to like family things. And, you know, they've done stuff together. She was at, I believe, um, Victoria's latest fashion show um, in Paris. So, you know, I'm fairly certain all of that is perfectly fine. And she also was um, in, in some of the scenes of the Beckham documentary. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah, during that last scene where they're all like in the kitchen and everything. Yeah, I believe she was there with Brooklyn. Yeah. Um. So you know, like, aside from that kind of little hiccup or whatever, like there really isn't any any drama or like crazy gossip rumors you hear about the Beckhams. I just love them. They're yeah. fantastic. They're a fantastic yeah. couple. <laughs> Iconic. I agree. Caution Bex, you guys should watch the documentary and totally. watch our video on it as well. So let us know in the comments, what do you think about Posh and Bex? Do you still want to be like them? Uh, you know, given this whole Will Smith, Jada, girl, drama, that's Ooh. the other side of the spectrum, I guess. Nice. Things that we weren't expecting to see and know at this point and mm-hmm. kind of upsetting. Mm-hmm. Like, yep. do you still believe in love at this point? <laughs> <laughs> Are the Becks keeping it alive? Let right. us know in the comments what you think. Um, but that concludes today's video. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our videos. Also, please share our videos. We're trying to grow our community so your friends can be our friends and we could all be friends. We also have social media, which Steve will tell you about. We're on Instagram and TikTok at Hear Me Out DNE. So make sure you guys follow us, like, share, comment. We really enjoy interacting with you guys. All right, guys. We'll see you next time. Peace. Bye. Bye.